have my I don't have my tripod right now. I don't know where I left it at. But y'all yeah, gonna be getting re ready with me for work. I'm gonna work like in like two hours. In like an hour and a half in like two hours. But I gotta take my little brother home. So I also need to estimate that time. Uh, and then if y'all don't see the difference, I look like a naked mole rat because I don't have my lashes on. I thought my lashes yesterday because I already been having them for like a whole month and I was really tired of them to be honest. Like, I don't know, you know when sometimes you just, when you have lashes stitches, like if you know, you know, you wanna just rub your eyes and like feel like nothing's on your eyes is exactly what I missed. So I was like, yeah, no. I was gonna order like a cream on, on Amazon to like take them off, but I was like, I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna just yank them off. So, I mean, I didn't yank them off, but I, I applied like olive oil and I let them soak in my eyes. And um, yeah, they slowly came off or whatever. And that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. I'm only working today, which is Tuesday, and it kind of sucks because I wanted to actually work the weekend because I ordered a cute little outfit. Um, but the thing that sucks about like the only thing about that sucks about being a bottle girl is that if you don't book, you basically like don't work. You know what I mean? Mm. So since I didn't have no bookings for this weekend, I can't work. And I mean, slowly but surely, like. People are knowing that I'm a bottle girl and I'm like getting my name out there. But I don't know you guys. I don't know. Like I love being a bottle girl. Like I love it. Like literally even the people that I work with, it's just so relaxing to work with people that um that aren't messy, that I like, you know, having fun but still working and I love that environment. But it just sucks that like since there's girls that have been there like way longer than me, like they get to work all the time and obviously since they're booking people they're working you know what i mean but obviously because they know people because they've been working there for longer they um they get to work so i'm only they only put me to work today and thursday but on friday i have an event in the morning for makeup appointments like super early i think i have to be there at 3 a.m and I can't be there at 3 a.m. with no rest if I get I get off at work. I get off from work at 2 a.m., you know what I mean? So I had to release my shift to somebody else for Thursday. If not, I would have worked it. But there's no way I would have went to do somebody's makeup, especially so many girls at, um, at um 3 a.m with no sleep so i mean i could have probably done it but i needed my rest for that day like that's gonna be a hectic day um i really love being a bottle girl though it's just the booking part where i have a lot of followers don't get me wrong like i have people like that are, that follow me oh my nails i want to cut them off already um but a lot of my followers you guys like a lot of y'all aren't from here y'all are from like Cali, like mostly a lot of my people are from Cali. Like a lot of people that support me are from Cali. Um, and I noticed that because even whenever y'all purchase from my website and stuff like that, it tells me where y'all are from and stuff like that. Cause obviously I ship out y'all's packages and stuff. And it's always like out of state. It's rarely anybody from my city. So that's crazy. It is crazy how people say like, even like people from your city or people that you know won't support you and people that you know that don't know you want to see you succeed the most and that's literally the truth like it's what it is so yeah guys so if y'all coming down to houston or if you're in the houston area and you want to come party at 5306 yeah book me on instagram dm me how many people what day what time you're coming in and i got y'all so like book ahead of time you guys because our sections and like our tables go by really fast so just book ahead of time with me i've been doing my makeup a little bit softer you guys if y'all haven't noticed i haven't really been doing like eyeshadow looks on myself and i kind of missed it it's just that since i'm always like on the go it's so much easier to just do like a quick and easy beat especially when you have lash extensions it makes it like so much easy to just put on some eyebrows a little bit of 
shadow, I mean a little bit of concealer, and then you're ready to go, you know what I mean? It takes me longer to do my makeup whenever I don't have lash extensions. I just noticed that because why well, I've been taking like 20 minutes to do my eyebrows at this point, but whatever. Okay, so I like to spray my face with setting spray before I apply my primer and then I apply setting spray again after my primer so I can like lock it in. Find my other e.l.f. primer, but usually I love the pink one. Th this one, I like it if you have like combo to like dry skin and then the pink one, I feel like it's more for like oily skin. So since I'd be working outside, I like to go for like the more oily one because it controls my oils, like my sweat and stuff like that when I'm outside better. Oh, actually, I fucking lied. Actually, I lied. So yeah, this is what the Elf Power Grip Plus. It has like neon sunites. I don't know what the hell that it is, but it has that. It's the one that I like to use. I like to mix it in with my finger. I don't I know. And then on my, you guys, I get like really, 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 really like bad sweat breakouts like around my nose and my chin. And I freaking hate it. So like when I set that area, I have to set it like really, really good because it will start like breaking apart. Remember, go back again and lock it in, girl, lock it in. Her. The Dose of Colors Foundation. This is in 113 Light. I don't know what I feel like doing to my eyes, to be honest. But like I said, since I haven't really been doing my eyeshadow, I kind of like my eyeshadow. Keep it. And like the warm counts. As you can see, I done hit pan on um like two of them. Because these are like my most requested looks. Is like this one with the white, you know? Like the look soft glam. So the lashes that I'm using are these um, that I got on Amazon. It comes like in a, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight pack, I believe. So I'm gonna be using them. They are like short. I'm gonna sleep early because I have to wake up early and run a lot of errands. Um, because I have appointments tomorrow, and then I also need to pick up some things that I need for Friday's appointments that I need to stock up on my kit. It'll be a long day. I'm gonna start going with foundation. This. This part should be like easy and fast because I already finished the eyes. So meanwhile, like we had already set with the primer and everything, it already soaked into my skin. So this is just gonna go on perfect. It's so hot that honestly you don't even need to add so much i i just like to use foundation for like to even down my skin tone literally build up this foundation so it could be light to medium medium to full it's just all how many pumps and you're perfect using the born this way the born this way Too faced concealer and pearl so now i just like to let my my concealer sit the rare beauty Rare Beauty Blush, and I'm just gonna add Contour Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this where I basically contour or bronze my face. I probably applied too much, but it's okay because whenever you powder and conceal and everything, it like... You see how the beauty blender just like makes like a seamless blend? That's why I like to go in with the brush first and then the beauty blender or the sponge. Also, I wanted to talk to you guys about what do you think I should do? Like, I don't know, but one thing about me, I can never just sit still like 
like i don't know so, like i don't know i think i just get bored or something i get bored of like the same routine all the time so i always want to like switch things up right so it's not that i was getting bored of doing makeup but i was i was only getting booked like on weekends and like you know whenever you're you're your own boss you guys you're gonna come to learn that not every weekend you're gonna be booked not every day you're gonna have clients um not every week is gonna be a good week you know it'll be a slow week then the next week it'll be a popping week and it's just you know that's how that's how it is even whenever i go to work as a bottle girl now that i've been here for a month it um i see that sometimes it's slow sometimes it's good days some, you just never know and one thing about me is like i'm i'm always I, i'm always on the go like i can't just sit still like i think i'm afraid of failure like I'm afraid of not accomplishing my dreams. I'm afraid of not getting to where I want to be by a certain age. Like I'm afraid of like letting myself down. Like it's crazy. So I'm always like want to do new things. I always want to try out new things. I, I, if I can't do it, I'm gonna put my mind into it and I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Like, so that's kind of like where I've been lately. And like I said, on my live on tiktok i usually be on tiktok live a lot you guys i'm already setting my face look at the difference period i'm using the huda beauty um setting powder and pound cake love this freaking I mean, powder i remember i didn't like it at first i think when it first came out like years ago but it's because i had got like the mini one and um uh, i did not like the mini one like i don't know if it was the color maybe it was the color i don't know i kind of want to get into like I love doing makeup. I will forever love doing makeup and that's something I'm never going to stop doing just because that's been my passion since I was a little girl and that's my dream. Like, that's my dream job. You know what I mean? Like, me being a makeup artist, like, can go so far. Um, like, the beauty industry in general can go so far. So, that's why I kind of want to get into, like, doing, like, eyebrows, like, laminations, tints, waxing, like, stuff like that. And then also um, doing, like... I love, if you know me guys, I have always wore extensions since I was a little girl because my mom used to wear extensions whenever I was little and I would always like put them on or like help her put them on and so I just got into them at a really young age and every time people wear extensions like I'm always the one to like help them put them on or like blend them in or whatever. So I have seen that there's this new, I have seen that this girl teaches classes on like, um, I'm gonna see, hold on. Let me see if this is too dark. Holly is. Whips. Extensions or like eye tips, which is like the little bead ones, I believe. And then the ones that are kind of sewed into your hair. I think those are the most uh, better like extensions in my opinion because they don't damage your hair, especially the ones that are whipped because it's kind of like you're sewing extensions onto your hair. You know what I mean? It's not like adding any type of chemicals or anything onto your hair or any product. But I don't know. I really want to get into that. What do you guys think? I don't know. Y'all let me know. What do y'all think? I feel like I'm just always so indecisive also. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's my next step in life. I always tell God, like, I'm leaving life up to you. You know what I mean? Like, you're the one that knows where I'm supposed to lead to and where I'm supposed to go to. And I believe, I believe in having faith on whatever God is planning for me. But you know, it's just it's just hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Like I got I got a kid to feed. I gotta you know also pursue my dream at the same time. I got bills to pay. Like it's just so much, you guys. And I do this all by myself. Literally, I've been doing this by myself since I was a little girl. So to me, it's like every time I feel like something's not for me, like I just go and focus with something else. I'm gonna use a Dior highlight. Um. So, oh, and then the contour that I just used was this one, the the Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I just used this bronzy shade because it's like really orange tone with the House Labs, House Labs uh, blush and dragon fruit days. But yeah, I don't know. Does that make sense to y'all? Like, do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That's just always been me. Like, I literally have had so many, like hustles from growing up to like now like 
literally one thing about me is that like i have always worked but if something's not for me like i just go to the next and the next and the next and i never dedicate myself to one thing like makeup is always gonna be there you guys like i'm always with makeup but then i was telling my family about it and they're like well you always feel like that because you don't put your 100 percent um like you're 100 percent in makeup like you want to do something and then like you get bored and then you want to do something else and then you get bored and you go back to it blah blah and that's really like i i get that part but that's not really what it is i just feel like nowadays i'm not supposed to be just doing one income you know what i mean like you, i i feel like there's so many ways to make money that i am not just supposed to be doing one thing you know what i mean and and yeah makeup could go so far and then like you know whatever but I don't know i just like adventuring into new things trying out new things um because you just never know where life is gonna take you like you know but i don't know do, do y'all feel like that i don't know i feel like being in your 20s i keep saying i don't know i'm sorry but being in your 20s is so complicated because you don't know what you're going you don't know what you're doing with your life like i don't know who i thought i was thinking i was gonna have my house built and everything i mean you can you could put you could do anything you you put your mind to but girl be fucking real i add a little bit of brown, brown eyeliner this is the one from urban decay in i don't know what color but oh whiskey i don't know I know what else to do point in their life you know what i mean like what's next type of thing because that's me right now one size i think was my favorite Let's see if I go in with this pink. No, I think I want to do it like a. Yeah, yeah. I'm lining my lips with this, and then I think I'm add a little bit of this lip gloss. Let's see. No. Then I got a blonde and a curtain. Oh, so you're gonna put it in your any of Okay, so lip combo. I use these. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner in Honey Beige. And then I added a teeny tiny bit of this one, this lip gloss from Moira in the shade Be Loved. And then I went over it with Lucky Charm, again, from the same brand. Okay, so I'm going to do my hair real quick, and then I'll come back. And, yeah. So this is how it came out. Cute little soft lamb. So I actually found my little light. So I'm going to just do my hair real quick. Anyway, I'm going to get these. I'm going to get these little pieces right here. I'm going to get this. Okay. I have to leave already because I need a drop of my brother. Just... Alright guys, so this is how I ended up doing my hair. I just put it into like a high bun and then just curled these two pieces right here. Uh, there's a lot of wings too. Like I was saying, so this is how I ended up doing my hair. Um, just curled these two pieces and then I'm wearing this crop top and then i'm gonna put the rest of my clothing at work so i'll see y'all at work see how my makeup looks in the flashlights dark time whatever because i feel like you could see more of like the glitter and stuff on the flashlight so yeah that's how i did my makeup that's how i got ready and i'm gonna take it at work with me so. Alrighty. i'm already at work toxic girl I'm like eight minutes late, but I should be good. So this is the bag.
our restroom, we have like all this stuff that we need for like, you know, just in case. Um, tuck shit. I need this hairspray though, because my hair is getting frizzy already, like this side. I should have put it in the bottom pins. What's the fit? I went to two different gas stations. One was closed, and then the other one, it was closed too, but it looked open. So then I was like, "Fuck, I'm about to be dead." Um, but yeah, I literally stopped right here and I made it on time. Literally, it gave it like one last push, and I got right at the fucking gas station thingy. So, 
Gracias a Dios ya llegué. Um, ya estoy cerquita de la casa. So, I'm ready to take this makeup off and go to fuck to sleep. I'm back to where we started. Um, I'm so tired. It's already currently 3 a.m. My fucking dumbass left my money in the car. Um, anyways, so this is for Thursday and this is for Saturday. So let's count up Thursday. So, in total, in two days last week, I made 600 and bad, but I know I can do better. Um, but yeah. I'm forever thankful and blessed. Um, gracias Diosito para estar en mi camino. Thank you God for being in my path. And whatever it's meant to be, we're meant to be. But hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. Um, I'm really tired, so my mood changes because I'm super tired. Uh, but I'll see y'all on my next vlog. Uh, yeah guys, bye.